This channel do not condone piracy of any kind. Asking for, providing or discussing illegal download links is not allowed. <laughs> Hello Game Daddies, Game Daddy here, and welcome to our channel where you're never too old for video games, and we're all about to dive into the world of Android emulation. In today's exciting episode, we'll be talking about Ethers X2, Lemonade, Vita 3K Android, Yaba Sanshiro Android and SNES 9XEX Plus so grab your joysticks and game on. But before we start if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, please subscribe, and hit the notification bell icon so that you'll be updated with the latest news, tutorials, and anything about Android emulation, let's go. Let's talk about PlayStation 2 emulation on Android with Ethers X2. EZ on the Eyes just posted an announcement regarding the newly modification patch of Ethers X2. Hello everybody, we are pleased to present the next evolution in Nether SX2 modifications, Grindress X2. Grindress X2 can be built with its own unique builder, named Grinder. This version of Nether differentiates from Mainline in the following ways. Updated game DB, affecting minor bugs across various titles and performance. Recategorized games title conventions to provide accurate games titles to best align with our user base. Updated games region icons to be less divisive based on geographical location plus branding overhaul completed, app logo saturation increased by 1%. Added support for potato devices, preliminary crinkle cut support, waffle cut support will be tested later. Baked potatoes are still considered incompatible at this time. Deleted queerphobia from existence, Grindress X2's grinder builder is available at the following URL http colon slash slash trixarian.net slash grindressx2 packzip With all that said, this application acts as a total game changer for emulation users. We thank you all and look forward to supporting this application going forward. If Nether was one small step, Grinder will be one big leap. Special thanks to the amazing work of our resident community developers for their contributions to this project, including Trixarian for the recent 96-hour straight programming marathon. So if you're an Ethers X2 fan with Potato Phone you might want to test Grindress X2's preliminary support for Potato devices, it'll leave a link in the description box below. Next up, let's talk about Nintendo 3DS emulation on Android with Lemonade. Finally a new Nintendo 3DS emulator is born based on the latest Citra build, and the lead developer of this project is Gamer64YTV, and it's called Lemonade. For those who didn't know Gamer64YTV, he is the one who made a dolphin fork named Dolphin360. Lemonade is available on different platforms such as Windows, Mac OS Linux and Android. Here are the major changes on Lemonade. Implement initial support for Windows, Linux and Mac OS untested. Fix most of Luigi's Mansion 2 performance issues, mainly on PC. Rebrand to Lemonade completed. Windows 11, implement Mica theme to the title bar. Hacks implement Y2R Perform Hack, Fix Danbul Senki W Cho Custom, Danbul Senki Wars. Hacks implement Display Transfer Hack, Fix Tales of the Abyss, Pac Man Party 3D. Android All Rebrand Android Performance Fixes for Mali GPUs and OpenGL. GPL Upgrade to GPL 3.0. So, what are you waiting for? Grab your Lemonade app now. I'll leave the links in the description box below, feel free to check it out. Moving on, let's talk about PlayStation Vita emulation on Android with Vita 3K. McDo and Zanjetsu just posted a screenshots of Final Fantasy X HD Remaster and Senran Kagura Estival vs running on PC version of Vita 3K, does it mean these games will be playable on the next Vita 3K Android release? Let me know your thoughts about this one in the comments section below. Quickly. Let's talk about Sega Saturn emulation on Android with Yaba Sanshiro. Yaba Sanshiro 2 Pro the paid version just got a brand new update, version 1.14.5 Pro. In this update Dev Myx added a support for launching from frontends like Daijisho. So if you want to test this out, update your Yaba Sanshiro 2 Pro now. Lastly, let's talk about Super Nintendo emulation on Android with SNES 9XEX Plus. SNES 9XEX Plus just got a brand new update version 1.5.79. In this version they fix autosave timer resetting when pausing emulation. Add a shortcut for a rewind button in on-screen input setup to add new button group. So if you want to test this out, update your SNES 9XEX Plus on Play Store. Inspire me to make more videos like this by subscribing to the channel.